Hey guys, I'm Vanya, channel's RC Alley, and today we're going to be trying AKA tires in 10 scale racing. I have been a hard advocate that Prolines or J Concepts are the best tires for 110th racing, but lately people on AKAs have been kicking my butt and I had to find out why, so I got a set for my four wheel. Let's see how it goes today. So this is what the foams look like, a team driver did this for me. So pretty even holes, foams feel really good actually, much better than the Pro line. Yeah, this too, this is the front, so just uh, one down the middle. And yeah, that's it for the foam prep. Let's mount up the tires and see how they do. Okay, so I mounted them up. I messed one up. I put the vent holes on the wrong side. I didn't know these were directional, but surely they are. The longer tread here goes on the outside, not on the inside. I did not know that. I thought they were just mount them whatever way and go. Apparently not. So they are brand new. They haven't been broken in in any way or anything. I just scuffed the edges, like the sidewalls inside and out. I'm gonna sauce them once with this TDK. That's what I was told to use. And then after I'm done with that, I'm just gonna let it dry. And then before my run, sauce them again. All right, here's a quick look at them saws, just so you know kind of what I'm doing. So they're pretty wet. All four. I'm gonna wait, probably. It's gonna be at least half hour, 45 minutes before I run. So I'll saw some again before that run, and hopefully they'll hook up. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Running tires that I've never ran in before. That is not possible with J Concepts or Pro Line. So hopefully this works out well. We'll see. So my original plan was to do one run on my Pro Lines and then one run on my AKAs. But I know what the Pro Lines do. I've been running them for probably two, maybe a little more than two years now. So I know what my lap times are on this layout. I know what my five minute runs are. I know what my eight minute runs are. So today I'm gonna run all of my runs with the AKAs and see how it goes, if my times get better, if my lap times are at all quicker or what happens. Okay, so I saw the tires again. did it heavy so we'll see I mean I feel kind of crazy going out without prepping my tires at all really just minimal saucing them we'll see I'm uh, up in let's see uh, not the next uh, heat but after that so I'll pick up the camera and let you go how my very first run is all right so I just finished my first qualifier and uh, it wasn't actually quite like expected it to be the grip wasn't all there the first several laps and then once it did come in the car started being very edgy so I'm hoping that's just to uh, being new tires. My fast lap however was pretty good on them so I think uh, it might be just the difference in driving style between tire and tire I'll have to adapt a little bit but you know in that aspect it wasn't all that impressive but just it's so impressive how much grip it had you know straight out of the bag you know not burning it in just saucing the tire a couple times throwing it out and i had a top five qualifier i qualified in fifth so in that aspect really really impressive but uh as like the race was going i feel like the grip was getting better and better with them so i have high hopes for my second run and then even higher hopes for uh the main Guys, check out the damage by one of the locals. He got hit by some lap traffic. Tried to get a good angle on that. Look at that drive shaft. I've never seen a carnage like this. Chassis bent. Screws coming out. Man, that is some gnarly damage. All right, guys, there you go. We haven't seen anything like this on this channel before. Man, I can't believe that drive shaft bent like that. Amazing. Wow, guys, I just finished the second run and 
holy smokes, like that was awesome. I lost about six seconds due to mistake mistakes, but you know, that was my fault, not the tires, not the car. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I think I'm sitting fourth overall. I got second for the round. It's, I've hot lapped myself by like four tenths now or three tenths. It's, it's amazing. These tires are unbelievable. I mean, I was always told, you know, stay away from AKAs for one tenth indoor. You know, just do Pro Line or J Concepts. That's the best tire, but. I'm skeptical now. I mean, I've ran like my top 15 laps was 13.7. I don't think I've had top 15, you know, below 13.9 or even 14.0 ever on this layout. So there is something to beat to these tires, guys. Um, I have the main left. I think I'm starting fourth overall. I'm gonna record the main or I'll get somebody to do it so you guys can see how the car behaves, how the tires look. We will be following my car, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down now, pick it up for the main, and we'll see how it looks. But yeah, as of right now, really, really impressed with these scribbles. Five. You are gonna go up the same time on the side of the toe and in less than five. Next up, we're gonna lead them off with Blue Combo in tow. 13 5, 4 wheel drive, buggy on the way. That's gonna lead them off that TOR in 20 quick quarter on the back side of the track, hand down the turn out. Across the line is your leader at 13 5. Bonnie in the four, brand new three, Rue all over Matt Castle, takes the lead away from on the first lap. The second lap, excuse me, pretty yeah. hard to finish the climb on this little drop all the way back to that last place. Looks like we're gonna roll over, that's gonna let. Gonna let Vanya to the two spot, I'm pretty sure. And it will, Vanya all the way up to that two spot. The third of the two goes Vanya on the Rick and Eddie scribble. Matt, off the, I think, chain links, cross links, something like that. Over that second double, he goes. Matt, Vanya, Matt goes, Isaac, Girl, Jack, Nick, and Brandon. Your bump spot, Jack Dillow from the 10 to the 6. Matt, definitely a leader, though. Looks like Matt Wells is all over Tanya. Matt Kessel trying to pull away a little bit more. Matt Wells, Vanya, Lou, Isaac, Nick, and Jack, and Brandon Carter. 
Short course, you're up next, by the way. Short course, you are up next. I should have plenty of marshals for this next one. Plenty of them. Let's find the winner. Matt Castle, 9.6 seconds ahead of Matt Welch. He is. Cleanest run. Uh, the tires felt really good. I mean, they are 
all the way broken in right now. Uh, opinions, thoughts, are they better than the pro lines? Well, out of the bag, yes, but I don't know if I'm still sold. I'm still gonna try and soften up my pro lines more, but if that doesn't work, I'll be switching to these for sure. I mean, it'd be silly for me not to try since I have like four sets of brand new pro lines ready to go. But as things stand right now, out of the bag, man, like you can't beat the performance of these. So if you're, in, you know, if you're in a rush ever or whatever, you just need to glue up tires and throw them on the track. These things work. It's incredible. Now, what worries me still at the national level, you don't really see AKA all that much in 10 scale. You see them way more in 8 scale and we all know their 8 scale tires are pretty freaking dialed. But you don't see, you know, the top drivers besides Tebow running AK and then he hasn't really been racing all that much 10 scale either. I really wish for uh, him to go to like a big race soon. So we see uh, really how it shakes down. Like, yeah, he won the Reedy race whenever that was, but that was on spec tire, so. As of right now, would I recommend the AKAs? Yeah, I mean, it's just so easy to get them right, especially if you're getting into the hobby. It's a no-brainer. Will I still try and uh, work on my pro lines? I will, but, you know, will I be successful or not? That is the question. We'll see. All right, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Sorry the race wasn't better for me. I just kept making mistakes, and it wasn't the car or the tires. It was just me. Uh, I guess they do feel a little bit different than pro lines like they drive a little different so I'm sure it'll take me a few weeks to get used to them properly but that's it for me today if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time